This is a video by Rich Ben. Today we're working on a 1992 Toyota Tercel. And this procedure we're going to do today will probably pertain to the uh, Corolla also. What we're doing is we are using the onboard diagnostic of the computer to retrieve the trouble codes. Now the first thing we need to do is to warm up the vehicle to normal operating temperature. And we want to open up the hood and we want to check the battery voltage. We want to make sure that we have at least 11 volts to uh, do this. Alright. Let's check our voltage here with our multimeter. And we have 13.35. Alright, so we're looking good. And now that we have good battery voltage, we want to make sure that all the accessories are turned off inside the car and we want to put the vehicle, this is a standard, so we're going to put it in neutral. Next thing we need to do is to find the diagnostic connector. And it's located right here, right next to the fuse panel. It has a little cover on it that says diagnostic. And what we're going to do is we're going to open that cover and we're going to take a paper clip and jump the terminals in there to put it into diagnostic mode. I'll get a little closer there and show you. Now the next thing we need to do is turn the key to the on position. And then once we do that, we can lift up on the cover of the diagnostic plug here. And underneath the cover you can see a graph in here it tells you what each pin is and we're looking to jump T and E1 and in this particular one it says E1 and TE1 so we're gonna take our paper clip and jump those two terminals right there. Now we're going to go inside and check the flashes of the check engine light. Now here's what the check engine light does when you put that paper clip in. It flashes the check engine light. Now in this particular case it's flashing one pause, one pause, one pause which means that everything is normal on this particular car. Now if there was a code in there, say that, say there was a, a code 12, there would be a flash, a pause, and two flashes. And it would keep repeating. And if we had something like a code 24, there would be two flashes, a pause, and four flashes. So that's how the um, check engine light determines what code you have. Now after you've done checking the codes, remove your jumper and close that and now you can turn the key off. Now to turn off the check engine light after you've done a repair, you want to remove the fuse box cover here. And you want to look for the EFI 15 amp fuse. That would be right here. Remove that, wait at least a minute put it back in and that will turn the check engine light off. Now if you happen to have a vehicle with a carburetor, look for the fuse for the radio. Do the same thing. Remove that and it will turn the um, check engine light off. And that's all there is to checking the diagnostic system on your OBD1 Toyota Tercel.